Hello, in this problem we're going to find two different differential equations whose solution is given by y equals a times e to the x plus b times cosine x. And so the process here is typically you take a bunch of derivatives and you try to eliminate the variables uh, using some clever algebra by you know adding and subtracting derivatives and you know seeing what happens. So let's try it. These are kind of fun usually. So solution. So here we have y, so let's go ahead and find the derivative, which is pretty easy, so y prime. So the derivative of e to the x is simply e to the x, so this will be a times e to the x, and because a is a constant, so it hangs out. Same thing with b, it'll hang out, and the derivative of cosine is negative sine, so this will be minus b sine x. Since we have two constants, let's go to the second derivative. So it'll be a e to the x, and then minus b cosine x. All right, let's see what we can do with these. I think we should be able to get rid of uh, some uh, of these um, constants. So I guess if we add um, y to y double prime, we can get rid of the, the, the b's, right? So y plus y double prime. What's that going to give us? So basically, we have a e to the x plus a e to the x. That's 2 a e to the x. And then this one and this one will cancel, right? Because you have b cosine x minus b cosine x. Those go away. So we can solve this for a. And that will give us uh, y plus y double prime over uh, 2 e to the x. That's a. That could be useful, right? We've solved that uh, for A. Very nice. And so let's try to get rid of the A now. So I guess we could subtract. We could do Y minus Y double prime to get rid of the A. So A e to the X minus A e to the X, those go away. And we're gonna get it B, we're gonna get B cosine X minus a negative B cosine X. So it's B cosine X minus a negative B cosine X. So it's really plus. It's going to be 2b cosine x. And then solving this for b is going to give us y minus y double prime over um, 2 cosine x, right? 2 cosine x, really nice, nice way to manage um, the variables. And so now what I'm thinking what we can do is um, we can take this and plug it back into uh, one of these. Let's, we, we used y and y double prime, right, to do all of this. So let's plug it back into y prime so we don't end up with like some type of, you know, weird circular argument. So I'm going to plug it back in here. Okay. So we have, I'm going to switch colors here. We have y prime equals, so a is this. I'm going to put it where the a is up here. So it'll be, uh, it'll be y, a y. Uh, plus y double prime over 2 e to the x. Okay, over 2 e to the x. That's where we're putting that, right? And then uh, minus, and minus, and then b is going to be uh, y minus y double prime over to cosine x. Oops, I forgot to put e to the x here. Okay, and then here we have sine x. So all we've done is we've replaced a with this, right, that's here, and we've replaced b with this, that's here. Just going really slow here, okay? All right, so what happens now? Let's see here. So we have y prime equals, these cancel, so we get y over 2, that's going to be simply uh, y over 2, plus y double prime over 2, which is simply y double prime over 2. And then here what happens uh, is this is a tangent function, right? This is a tangent. This is minus um, y over 2 times tangent of x. Then minus and minus is plus, this will be plus. Uh, y double prime over 2 times tangent of x. Okay. And at this point, um, we can multiply everything by 2 just to make it a little bit prettier. 
So this is 2y prime plus, oh, equals, sorry, equals y plus y double prime minus y 10x plus y double prime 10x. And let's go ahead and subtract this uh, 2y prime. We want to set it equal to 0 and clean it up, write it in a nicer way. So minus 2y prime, minus 2y prime. So I'm going to write, um, the, well, I'll write it like this. y double prime plus y double prime 10x, writing the higher order derivative first, OK? And then we have minus 2y prime. It's this one. And then we're left with uh, plus y minus y tan x. And that's equal to 0. OK? And now we can clean it up even more. We can write this as 1 plus tan x y double prime, just make it a little bit cleaner, minus 2y prime, prime, not double prime, plus 1 minus tan x y equals 0. So a little bit nicer uh, there. So that would be uh, our solution. So very nice. That's the solution. That's the differential equation whose solution uh, is given above uh, right here. So the solution to this DE is this. So it's pretty tricky. Um, I felt like it got a little confusing here uh, with all of these y's and y primes. You just have to be really careful, you know, just like when you take this over here, to get to this step here, I just basically wrote down, let me put it in red here, this and this, wrote that first, okay? And then this one. And then this one and this one. It's in descending order, right? So y double primes, the y primes, and then the y's. And then you factor out the y double prime, factor out the y, and there you go. So that, that's one answer. We need another one. So uh, to find another answer, what we can do is I suppose we can keep differentiating, right? Uh, we should be able to do that. Let's see, because a lot of these derivatives are, are circular. So if you find the third derivative, so differentiating this, it's going to be a e to the x. And the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So this is plus b sine x, right? Because the derivative of cosine is negative sine. So negative and negative is positive. Differentiate again. This will be a e to the x plus b cosine x. Oh, look at that. That's equal to y. So basically, the fourth derivative of y is equal to y. So that is another right this is equal to this here's another differential equation let me write it again a little prettier here's another de uh, whose solution is given by this so however um, this this de uh, probably has other solutions like this only has two constants and this is order four so um, you should have at least four constants uh, whereas here uh, this should be what's called the general solution now by general solution I mean that um, this will have two constants, and this is order two. So some books mean that um, some books define general solution as um, all the solutions. Uh, in other words, there's no singular solutions. Uh, this is from a really old book from the 50s where they define general solution as just it has an equal number of constants as the order. And then they say that um, if it has all the solutions, it's called the complete solution. So a little bit old terminology. This problem is from a very old book. So in any case, it's kind of cool. You have this uh, solution to a DE, and you basically differentiate it a bunch of times, and you try to eliminate the variables. And when you do that, you come up with a differential equation. It's kind of an interesting process. And it's kind of fun, because no two problems are the same. But the idea is you want to eliminate uh, the variables. So kind of an interesting problem. Yeah, hopefully this has helped someone. <laughs> Good luck.